I always feel when Beethoven is sort of multiplying the rhythms in this passage um, that that he's he's exploring the infinite inherent possibilities uh, in the variation theme. And I think of this quote from Milan Kundera in his book of Laughter and Forgetting that Beethoven explores sometimes just 16 measures of a theme and goes inside those 16 measures as if he is taking a shaft to the interior of the earth. Well, when I think about late Beethoven, I think about Thomas Mann, who writes about music with enormous sensitivity. And in one of his late novels, Dr. Faustus, he mm -hmm. writes about a particular fictional composer. And early in that composer's life, uh, he has a teacher, a rather eccentric teacher named Wendel Kretschmar, uh, who does a lecture on late Beethoven. And he plays actually um, the very last sonata, Opus 111, and, and then comments on it while he's playing it and afterwards. And he says something of the same kind. He uses the variations at the end of Opus 111 to suggest that what Beethoven is doing is exploring so thoroughly that there is nothing more to say, that there could not have been a last third movement to that sonata simply because the sonata had at that point come to an end. The exploration was so complete. Mm -hmm. Now, I think in a way that captures something of what Kundra is also after, this sort of fine-grained interior exploration, which I think of as, as probing ever more minutely and ever more delicately and with ever greater variation uh, beneath the surface of things and exploring and exposing them. Do you think it's because of sort of the, the distress and the nihilism of the 20th century that, that they were looking for some kind of way forward, some role model? Well, I think what they do is they appreciate the transcendent quality of Beethoven's late music, which people after him, I think for decades, didn't know quite what to do with. Uh, one of the things that I discovered quite by chance is that one of Beethoven's contemporaries, a woman named Bettina von Arnhem, in a letter to Goethe, cites Beethoven as saying that music is able to express things that wisdom and philosophy cannot express. It's as though mm. he's thinking of music as going beyond anything we can express in words. And I think Mann picks up on that. Mm. And I suspect Kundera also picks up on that. I think he's, uh, he's saying in the passage that you cited that I can describe things, but there's a precision and a depth to the thought expressed by Beethoven's late pieces of music that goes beyond anything I can say.